Okay, so we're taking a look at the uh, sump in the basement here. It's where the lines come down from upstairs. And get distributed into two socks, the protein skimmer, uh, and my, my sump. Um, here's the newest addition, my under $15 uh, GFO reactor. Uh, made with a mason jar. We'll see how the, the metal on the lid here holds up. But the uh, two, uh, these are electrical connectors, bulkhead connectors. The most expensive part of this whole thing, actually, these were, uh, I don't know, $3.50 each at a rather expensive specialty uh, plumbing and electrical supply store. Um, but there is the reactor. You see, we got some, some pretty good uh, turbulence, I think, down here. Um, if you can see, you look up, and this is the return right here, and I've, I've got just a little bit of uh, the foam here, which I picked up for under $2, and have tons left over just to protect, just in case. Now, when I first put the GFO in there, the smaller particles, some got through, but really some very nice turbulence happening there, much better than just throwing this in a sock. Um, and just in case on the return tube, um, I do have it flowing into to this right now. You can see about the flow right there through that um, to catch any of the smaller particles. It's been running for 24 hours and basically little if anything caught into there. One thing I did do was put uh, this ball valve in here. Uh, to control the flow rate. So I can turn that up or down or just completely off. Um, one important thing for siphon purposes, I guess, is you know how, where the relation of the top of this to the sump. I mean, one of my thoughts originally was just to have this sit right in the sump in case there was any leaking. But after 24 hours, zero leaks from this. Um, and it's just these you can see little gaskets up here, or the O-rings actually, on this. And I, again, I don't know how this metal is going to hold up. I believe it's aluminum. I'm not entirely certain if that's aluminum or steel. If it's steel, well, it's probably going to rust some <laughs> over time. Um, another important part of this was getting that uh, the exit just as close to the bottom as I can. Um, what you see on a lot is they'll have a uh, some kind of pad down here above the water exit, the water's coming out the pipe here and tumbling things is some kind of pad below this and then the water flows up through the pad. I really thought I'd get better turbulence without any that kind of thing. Of course, the pad there would stop any backflow of this to the pump. And I'm running that uh, into there, just out of my sump, after the socks in the same compartment as the skimmer here. Um, just a little pump I picked up used on Craigslist for about $5. So that's that's the setup. Been going for 24 hours, and I'm kind of kind of digging this. Um, I think I may make another one of these for uh, for a carbon reactor and run that separately. Um, that's just a mason jar. I think in reality, what would the best thing would be is to have this column of water here, you know, as high as possible, but being able to control the flow rate so I don't get uh, GFO going back up in the return. Um, we're doing pretty well. So we'll see how it goes. And there's my $15 DIY uh, GFO reactor.